Hey everybody, welcome to Hidden Springs Homestead. Today we are at the Bath County Fair. It's a tiny little fair just uh, south of us. I know we live in Highland, but some of the, the boys have done a 4-H chicken project and this is where we get to show them. So we're hanging out here at the fair all day and hopefully we can get some uh, footage of James showing. There's going to be quite a few birds down here. It's a beautiful day and uh, we're gonna show a little bit about some chickens today. So stay tuned. I'm going to do the two that I can't tell apart last so I can just do one and then the other. Oh. I'd see, that's why I said I think green eggs. So you just swab their mouths? Yep, so you go on the tongue and then there's a little almost gap in the top of their beak and you just go one swipe up through that gap as well. And what is it exactly you're testing for? Um, avian influenza. Okay. Yeah, we just do surveillance testing at all the county fairs. So that is the showmanship kind of portion that we we do. Um, then we're going to do a breed show, so the, they'll judge the breeds. But that was the actual like hands-on part for what the kids know. Um, 
So they'll go through this. They start with the oldest and they go to the youngest. And then uh, at the end, we do breed show, breed judging. We're gonna have a best hen and then a best flock and then the silent auction. So we're just kind of waiting around and, until that happens. So we did pretty well, guys. We won showmanship and got second for flower, or for breed. This is pretty good for us. So, guys, we're here with Mr. Ben from Highland Bath 4-H. Now, Ben, we're here doing chickens today. How can we get our kids signed up for 4-H that are coming up that don't didn't grow up doing this? So uh, in Virginia, 4-H uh, operates under Virginia Cooperative Extension. So the easiest way to learn more about 4-H or to find ways to get involved with 4-H would be to contact uh, a local extension office. Uh, they're in every county in the state. Um, and they can let you know whoever the 4-H agent is in that, in that office. will let you know what programs are available uh, for your kids to get involved with. 4-H is not just agriculture, not just chickens. We have uh, healthy living, agriculture, STEM, and civic engagement are the four pillars that we kind of try to uh, provide opportunities to learn and grow uh, under. Um, so contacting your local extension office would be the best place to start. And we can, what age groups are we kind of looking at? Right, so uh, we work with youth ages 5 to 19. Um, and they're kind of categorized into uh, three different groups. Uh, our, our youngest 4-H'ers, we call them Clover Buds. Those are five to eight year olds. Um, in Clover Bud programs, uh, there's less competition involved, uh, but still the same opportunities for learning. Uh, and then our junior 4-H'ers are nine to 13 years old. And then the senior group uh, would be 14 up, basically. All right, guys, so all sorts of age groups. Basically, if you're in school, you can come and hang out at 4-H and enjoy all this, uh, all they have to offer, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, thank you for, thanks thank for letting us come out, Ben. Absolutely, thank you for participating. Well, guys, that's it. The birds are sold. Didn't get the price we wanted, or I wanted for them, but uh, we did great. Uh, James won uh, best for his age group and second for breed i believe so we did well uh didn't get like i said i didn't get the price we wanted for them but uh you know that's just how it is you know sometimes just who comes to these things to buy we had some buyers come up late after we'd already sold so maybe we could have gotten a little bit more maybe not uh, but there's always next year and i am looking forward to it uh, thank you guys for joining us and as always god bless you guys